main guy CBK as promised guys this is the video just showing you how I do my setup for the deeper network right so basically the reason why I'm doing it is to separate two wireless networks so anything that I have on um, for the home the normal home wireless network that will be running as normal and then I can also connect via the TP link to the deeper network and that's obviously give me the actual VPN and um, it separates the two <clears throat> I do that because it just gives me a wider options and anything else that I want to mine can mine from the home and I can just keep the deeper completely separate so this is basically it now my ISP is Vodafone so you log into your Vodafone router with mine it's 192.168.1.1 and then basically all you have to do on this first is you want to go into your local network so for me it's settings local network right and you want to stroll all the way down to your DHCP server right and with this I set the range for it to start distributing um, DHCP IP addresses I say it to 20 because you it goes all the way up to two um, two uh, two five four two or two five three something like that all right so I set that to 20 all right and in this particular case it ends at 200 but it could go higher you could say it's a higher but you know 200 is, is, is more than enough you're not gonna have you know sort of like 180 different devices connected to your home network I mean you're not run even large organizations don't have that much yeah they will have things in separate um, virtual private networks but um, yeah so that's more than enough in terms of a home network right so I basically say it to 20 you can say it's smaller but I wouldn't advise it just say it to um, 20 and that's what it is you need to set the DHCP um, version 4 that's what it's called on mine but just look for the DHCP settings in your router set it to 20 that's all you have to do with your own um, your main router and then you go over to the actual TP link this is what I've ordered but if you want to use a different router then you can um, use whatever router you want right and what you want to do with this is you want to go into um, DHCP right you want to completely disable DHCP server yeah in the main one it needs to be on in the TP link which is your second router which you're bridging from your main router that needs to be off all right and then you also want to change the, the not here but you want to go back to network and you want to go to LAN and you want to change this to 192.168.1.2 which means when you log into this next time to this dashboard here you're going to be logging in with this number 192.168.1.2 right then you click save once you save it you won't be able to access it you know because i think with, with these um tp links you log in via 192.168.0.1 that's when you get it out of the box but you're going to literally that's how you log in first but then once you've logged in with that <clears throat> you then and and you log in with admin and admin once you log in then you want to change it to 192.168.1.2 right that means you no longer log in with the the initial um ip address that they give you to log in that's all you have to do so uh, let me just recap again right so you go to dhcp yeah you disable it you go to network and you go to LAN and you change that to 192.168.1.2 what you can also do is if you go to wireless you can change this to number six let's say right channel if you change that to number six and make sure that your main router which is my one here um, let me just see what this is actually set to. Um, do, 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 do. Right. That's the uh, frequency. Let me just see what this one is set to. 
Uh, where are you? Where are you? Wi Fi settings. Um, we're looking for channel. Let me just find that real, real quick. Okay, so here it is. In, in my settings, we go to Wi Fi, Wi Fi analyzer. So I've got 2.4 gig and also the 5 gig. So I'm going to set this cha the channel on this to 11 and also set this to. Um, you can leave that at all in actual fact. So that should be fine. And. Um, that should be it and that's all you do and that's all you do guys so once you've done that then um, we literally can log out of this uh, no, that's the wrong one sorry um, go back to here and you click save I've done that already click save so that is now stored on channel 6 the other one stored on channel 11 done then you connect you basically can connect to both actual wireless from there so that is it I'm going to show you what the hardware part looks like and then I'll be back in a sec all right guys so this is basically the setup so I've got just not sure if you can see that but anyway the cable is gone in there the um, I've got in in port one or socket one of the back of the main router that goes down to let me just make sure which one it is right here this so it goes into the um, deeper network which is connected to my wall there let me just zoom out a bit All right so it goes into this there then you've got the other cable underneath that goes into socket one of the TP link there. All right, and that is basically it. So <clears throat> I'll show you the actual settings on the computer now. So let's get into this. So just going through the manual, they tell you you've got to basically um, type in admin. I am going to change this. So not that you'll be able to log into my network but anyway I will change this let's just see if this works first username password wrong right okay so let me just do that again okay so this is basically um, I've just literally gone into sharing configuration um, so obviously we want sharing enabled um, sharing traffic limit I've set that to 10 gig I might give it a bit more or give it you know cut it down just see how it goes um sharing bandwidth bandwidth limit i've set it to 10 also so i've just set both of these to 10 so i'll put 10 in there you've got to click set on that right and that will then basically set that figure into 10 gig um sharing bandwidth limit to 10 megabits per second and i've basically set that also right now i know that's not a lot at the moment but i will um basically increase it you can set it to unlimited and i ain't going to be doing that all right um so th that is under sharing config um in sharing and sharing config right so we've got web filter what's this default config user config um security all right so that comes under security you've got routing domain IP config queries don't need to route anything because I've already routed my um, network so that should be fine um, tunnel all right so this is where at the moment it's picking me up as United Kingdom of Great Britain Northern Ireland um, so we've got Singapore here and we've got United States of America so at the moment it's set to United Kingdom and I can set it to any region that I want which is interesting um, but I'll 
keep it on UK for now. I'll probably mess around with this a little bit more. But at the moment, I'll keep it to the UK. And the active IP address it's giving me is this. So, that's interesting. Um, you've got mode, DPN smart route, DPN full route, DPN disable. Right, okay. So we want it on DPN smart route. Let me see what the logs are saying now. So I think this is where all the traffic is coming through. Um, control plane, data plane. Oh no, no, so this, the main controls, FE, Apple DNS. All right, so that's picking up possibly my Apple phone that's connected to it. Um, admin logged in, right, okay. So this is giving me the logs, so that's fine this app session ratio download right okay so um, upload 4 megabits download 13.4 megabits upload blah 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 right I will find out what all these things are but I'm, this is just a quick little go through just to see what's what's actually happening here. So we've got a system deeper wire um, for cores and that's just going back to the beginning, isn't it? Auto upgrade is on. Okay, and that is it. Um, all right.